Welcome to the Iron Speed Channel on this occasion. China has shown great progress in military technology, in particular in the development of aircraft carriers. One of the most notable is their latest aircraft carrier, the Fujian Type 003, which reflects a remarkable technological leap in China's quest to become a global maritime power. Let's take a deeper look at Fujian, its development history, its advanced technologies, and its impact on international geopolitics. History and background of Fujian China began its ambitious journey in developing modern aircraft carriers by building and operating the Liaoning aircraft carrier, Type 001, which is the result of modernization of the ships of the former Soviet Union. Subsequently, they launched the Shandong, Type 002, which was the first domestically made aircraft carrier of a more advanced design. However, Fujian, Type 003, which was officially launched in June 2022, became a new milestone. It is China's first aircraft carrier to be entirely designed and built using domestic technology without reliance on overseas designs. Fujian is named after a coastal province in China, symbolizing the close relationship between the ship and the country's maritime power. Fujian Specifications and Technology Fujian has unusually large dimensions with a length of about 320 meters and a width of 76 meters, making it one of the largest aircraft carriers in the world. It has a displacement of about 80,000 tons, close to the size of a U.S. supercarrier. However, what really makes Fujian stand out is the modern technology it carries. 1. Electromagnetic Launch System, EMALS Fujian is China's first aircraft carrier to use an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMALS, replacing the ski jump base launch system used in Liaoning and Shandong. This technology allows the launch of aircraft with heavier loads, higher speeds, and better operational efficiency. 2. Advanced Electric Power Although Fujian does not yet use nuclear power like American super aircraft carriers, it is equipped with a high-capacity power generation system that supports the operation of emails and various other advanced electronic equipment. This shows China's readiness to adopt future energy technologies. Third, aircraft capacity Fujian is capable of carrying up to 40 to 50 combat aircraft, including the Shenyang J-15, J-35, a fifth-generation fighter under development, as well as various drones and helicopters. The presence of a fifth-generation aircraft on board will significantly improve China's combat and reconnaissance capabilities. Fourth, modern defense system. The ship is also equipped with advanced air defense systems, such as anti-aircraft missiles and anti-missile weapons to protect against various threats, including cruise missile attacks and enemy drones. Fujian Strategic Significance Fujian's presence is not only a technological achievement for China, but also has major implications for regional and global geopolitics. With Fujian, China is showing that it is capable of rivaling a major maritime power like the United States, which has dominated the seas with its fleet of aircraft carriers. 1. Dominance in the South China Sea The South China Sea, which is often disputed between China and other countries, such as the Philippines, Vietnam, and Malaysia, would be a strategic area for Fujian. The presence of these aircraft carriers allows China to project its military power in the region more effectively. 2. Influence in the Indo-Pacific Fujian also allows China to expand its influence in the Indo-Pacific region, including the Indian Ocean and the Western Pacific. With its modern technology, the ship is an important tool in China's military strategy to confront the military power of the United States and its allies. Third, competition with the United States. With Fujian, China is showing their ambition to match or even surpass the military capabilities of the United States. These aircraft carriers are often compared to the Gerald R. Class, Ford, America's super aircraft carrier that is also equipped with EMALS technology, challenges faced. Although Fujian is a symbol of technological progress, China still faces some challenges in operating this aircraft carrier in full. 1. Operational Limitations Fujian requires extensive testing and training before it is ready for use in combat operations. This includes crew training, pilots, and weapon system integration. 2. Dependence on domestic technology. 
Although Fujian is designed entirely by China, they still need to develop supporting technologies, such as fifth-generation fighters, to maximize the potential of this aircraft carrier. Third, international pressure. Fujian's presence is raising concerns of countries in the Asia-Pacific region, especially those with territorial disputes with China. This could trigger an arms race in the region. Conclusion. The Fujian aircraft carrier is a symbol of China's great ambition to become a global maritime power. The newest aircraft carrier of the United States Navy, U.S., is the USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78, which was the first ship of the Ford class. It replaced the Nimitz class, which had been in service for decades. Commissioned in 2017, USS Gerald R. Ford brings a variety of innovations and advanced technologies designed to improve the efficiency and combat capability of the U.S. Navy. Technical Specifications and Innovations, USS Gerald R. The Ford is about 335 meters long, and the full weight reaches 100,000 tons. Powered by two new, more efficient nuclear reactors, the ship is capable of cruising at more than 54 kilometers per hour. One of the main innovations was the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS, which replaced the traditional steam catapult system. EMALS allow for smoother and more efficient aircraft launches, reducing stress on aircraft structures, and increasing sortie rates. In addition, the ship is equipped with an advanced dual-band radar, DBR, improving target detection and tracking capabilities. The updated flight deck design allowed for more efficient flight operations, with an increased number of daily sorties over its predecessor. The ship is also designed to reduce the number of crew members required, thanks to automation and the latest technology, which in turn reduces long-term operating costs. Missions and Assignments In October 2022, the USS Gerald R. Ford begins his first assignment. During this mission, the carrier cooperates with countries such as Canada, France, and Germany in exercises that include air defense, anti-submarine warfare, and amphibious operations. The deployment marks an important milestone after several delays due to technical issues with its advanced technology. In January 2024, the USS Gerald R. Ford deployed to the Mediterranean Sea in response to heightened tensions in the Middle East. These aircraft carriers play a role in providing protection for U.S. allies and preventing further escalation of the conflict. After several months of service, the ship was returned to the United States and replaced by the amphibious assault ship U.S. Sabaton and its support ships. Strategic Role in U.S. Defense As the newest and most advanced aircraft carrier, USS Gerald R. Ford played a crucial role in the projection of U.S. military power around the world. Its ability to carry up to 90 aircraft, including the F-35 stealth fighter jet and F-A-18EF Super Hornet, provides significant flexibility and attack power. The advanced technology applied to these ships improves not only combat capability, but also operational efficiency, ensuring that the U.S. Navy remains the dominant force in the global ocean challenges and controversies. Although it brought various innovations, the construction of the USS Gerald R. Ford did not escape the challenge. Its construction cost of more than 13 billion US dollars, around 197.5 trillion Indonesian rupiah, is in the spotlight, especially with delays and technical problems that arise during development. Some of the new systems, such as emails and DBR, faced problems that required repairs before the ship was ready for full deployment. The future of the Ford class USS Gerald R. The Ford is the first of a series of planned Ford class aircraft carriers. Second ship USS John F. Kennedy, CVN-79, has been launched in 2019 and is scheduled to enter service in 2025. These ships are expected to form the backbone of the U.S. Navy's projected strength over the coming decades replacing the aging Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. With a variety of cutting-edge technology and innovative design, USS Gerald R. Ford and other Ford-class ships are expected to meet the challenges of the increasingly complex modern battlefield, ensuring that the U.S. Navy remains superior in a variety of future conflict situations.